Yo, 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 what is up guys? So today I'm gonna be taking off the throttle cable, vacuum lines, disconnecting connectors. I've also brought my engine hooks. So there's one here and then one back here. We're gonna be using those to pull this thing out of here. In the meantime, however, we got the interior pulled apart, took off all the dash panels. So all of these are right here. If any of you guys have Supras, you know they put a rubber coating on all this stuff from factory and it chips and scratches so easily. One more thing, my floor mats are looking super rough. So there used to be a super badge here, it's torn in half, not good at all. If you remember a couple weeks ago, I told you guys that OEM floor mats run for around a thousand dollars. That's ridiculous, I'm not gonna pay that. I don't know anybody that would unless they're a Supra purist. However, one of you guys commented and told me that eBay Australia, there's a seller that makes custom floor mats. So I messaged him and managed to pick up some OEM replica floor mats. Basically they're just remakes and they look amazing, so much better than mine right now. So we got crisp black floor mats with the embroidered Supra logo, fresh heel pad, no rips, no tears, these are going to be mint. Those look sick. As you can see, these fit mint. Supra logo is looking nice. And they even fit on the factory hook there. I've pulled my side skirt off just so I can get a little bit more clearance for the jack. So just going over all the rock chips in my front bumper with this Dolphin 1K combination putty. So I've totally sanded the bumper down, gotten inside all these crevices and everything like that. So right now, all this epoxy is just hardening in the sun, and then I'm gonna go back over it with sandpaper. Get this thing smooth as hell, then we're gonna be filling all of the holes from the canards that I've drilled, and then sanding it again and going over it with primer. Uh, just getting it prepped for wrap. The reason that I'm gonna be wrapping my front bumper is because I don't wanna deal with rock chips again. And, I managed to find a wrap color that pretty much exactly matches my paint color. Once again, that's the wrap on the left, and then this is my paint. Pretty close. Uh, silver's a really hard color to match, especially in different lightings. I think it will be close enough that you won't really notice the difference, and it's going to protect the bumper a lot more during our road trips this year. Hey! It's time. Hey guys. For the past few hours, I've been up, around, under, pretty much all over this thing, disconnecting things. Uh, the harness is right now pulled out of the firewall and just looped over the engine, so that's how we're going to be pulling this one. Uh, mounts are disconnected already. We're pulling the trans with it, it's actually easier, just because you have literally no room here to get to the bell housing bolts. So the transmission is going to be coming with the engine. Let's pull it to you here. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Uh, we have the power steering. See you guys in Toronto. Pump off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the power steering pump uh, and reservoir off of the engine right now. So yeah, accessory belt will have to be put back on. Um, pretty sure. Wait, 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 wait. This More energy. Steer cam so the accessory belt <laughs> will have to be put back on later. All right. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so I just made a really funny joke with James. And, uh, what was the joke? <laughs> said nice rack. I said that. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna get out of this. Are you filming right now? Look at this little hole. I need to mount on this side. I can't wait to have a return like that on my car. Good thing <laughs> the boy Frank at Mopac hooked it up. But I'll show you later. He's on my feet. So get like me. <laughs> Alright. The side's out. Yeah. Give her a good pull there, mate. Hmm? 
<laughs> Ryan has it. You know how is the first throw? Come on, man. Fourth time's the charm, dude. <laughs> okay, fifth. Six. E. No, no, no. Turn it! Turn it! Turn it! Turn it! Which way are we going? Uh, tilting it this way? I think it's straight. I think that's I think that's how you go. Raise it up at the same time. Yeah, you might need to raise it a bit. There you go, right on. Hey. Watch that, watch that line down there. Uh, we're gonna have to clear the the rack, yeah, the oil pan there. There you go. Keep going. 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 Yeah, you're really leaking coolant. That's fine. That's fine. It's not that much. How's the transmission? Uh, it's, not it's fine, man. No, 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 no. You need to go higher. You've still got, you still got a bit of room at the back. Yeah. Might need to drop it a bit. Go on the other rat support. To the right. Yeah. Lower just other way. Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you kept it like that. Voilà. Yo, you uh, did your. You kept your drive shaft piece attached to it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it's supposed to pull out because it's still attached to the diff and everything back there. So it's just like pressed together and then it'll pull out. So, pull out really so it'll drop, but it'll catch on the heat shield of the exhaust. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Once you clear that, you'll be fine because there's plenty of room out the back. You should be able to pull forward a little bit and then go up higher again. Forward. Stop there and just go higher. You've got a lot of room once you get forward. Yeah, you're fine now, man. You can basically go as high as, like... Yeah. Go forward a little bit. Okay, here. Touching on your firewall. Good? Nope. Wait a sec. There you go. Yeah, just push the turn down. Down? Just push your uh, sump. Brandon, can you get a tire for us? Get a tire? Yeah. Yeah, there's some by the over there. We'll just pull it back and put it right in front of it. Get one that looks like junk. The shift is inside. The whole joint shaft or just part of it? Just half of it. That's what I was talking about. And... Oh. Alright. Space them out a bit, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. 
legends, man. Seriously. Two KZ? Yeah. And an MV30? Yeah. Just like Japan's top engines in the 90s. Alright guys, so there it is, 2JZ and V160 transmission are pulled, my engine bay is absolutely filthy, look at all this grime and dirt that's built up over the years. I'm going to be going over the entire bay, giving it a whole refresh, and then I'm also going to be going over the engine, uh, giving this a refresh as well, painting my valve covers, um, just cleaning everything up in general, you know there's a bunch of stuff in this engine that I want to make nicer. And on top of all that, I'm going to go around and try to replace all or most of the engine bay bolts with uh, some a little bit nicer bolts. So I'll show you that when we get back to Toronto, but yeah, really glad I got this out before we left. 